This is Nikola Tesla, regarded as one of the most influential inventors of all time, and here we have one of his most remarkable inventions, the AC induction motor. Fast forward to the early 21st century, and modern inventors such as Elon Musk began integrating these AC induction motors into electric vehicles, leading to the birth of Tesla motors. Since then, Elon Musk's Tesla has been relentlessly refining this century-old design, evolving from the Model S to the Model 3 and beyond, with their next-generation electric vehicle still yet to be released. This is how Tesla has successfully reinvented the electric motor. The AC induction motor is a technology that traces its roots back to the early days of Tesla motors and the development of their first Roadster vehicle. But if we take a step back in time, the induction motor's origins actually date all the way back to the early stages of the Industrial Revolution. Alternating current, AC, is the form of electricity that powers most of the world today. It's what flows out of the sockets in your home and moves through the power lines along your street. Nikola Tesla is widely acknowledged as the father of alternating current and played a critical role in the adoption of AC to power the United States electrical grid around the turn of the 20th century. Many people view Tesla's greatest achievement as the invention of the alternating current induction motor, which is essentially a device that converts AC electricity into mechanical motion. Interestingly, this same device, when used in the opposite direction, can turn mechanical motion into electricity. One of the earliest major implementations of Tesla's AC generator was harnessing hydroelectric power at Niagara Falls. When we refer to alternating current, we're really talking about the back and forth movement of electricity within a circuit. For AC electricity to work, the direction of the electrical current must continuously alternate between moving forwards and backwards. This might be difficult to visualize when we think about how electricity operates in our own electrical grid. When we flip a switch and turn on a light, it seems like the electricity is simply flowing from the power station to our homes, but in reality, it is constantly oscillating back and forth. This characteristic of alternating current allows it to be transmitted over long distances at high voltages, only to be converted to lower voltages once it reaches its final destination, your home or business. The frequency of this alternating motion is so rapid that we perceive the electricity as being constant, but in reality, the direction of the flow reverses 60 times per second in North America. Now, how does this concept apply to electric motors? Well, it's all about magnets. When electricity flows through a conductive material like copper wire, it generates a magnetic field, turning that wire into an electromagnet. Once the current stops, the magnetic field disappears. If electricity flows in one direction through a conductor, a magnet is created with either a north or south pole. If the current is reversed, the polarity of the magnetic field changes as well. As the flow of electricity alternates, so does the polarity of the electromagnet's north and south poles. An electric motor consists of two main components, the stator and the rotor. The rotor moves while the stator remains stationary. It's easy to remember which is which. An induction motor uses a rotating magnetic field generated by the stator which induces rotational force on the rotor. The stator is made up of coils of copper wire arranged in a ring and each coil is wrapped around a piece of iron. When electricity passes through these coils, they become powerful electromagnets, and the polarity of each magnet is determined by the direction of the current. By alternating the direction of the current in each coil and flipping the polarity in sequence, a rotating magnetic field is created that moves around the stator. The speed at which this magnetic field rotates is determined by how quickly the current alternates through the stator. The rotor itself is much simpler. There are various types of rotors used in induction motors, but the one we'll focus on today is the squirrel cage rotor. This rotor, which gets its name from its structure, consists of aluminium bars running from the front to the back of the rotor, connected by circular metal end caps. There is no electrical current flowing into the rotor and it doesn't contain any natural magnets. It's essentially a metal cage that can rotate freely. However, this rotor can be magnetized by the rotating magnetic field created by the stator. The key property of magnets is that they can induce an electrical current in a conductive material through relative motion without any physical contact. You can observe this effect by dropping a magnet through a copper pipe. As the magnet falls, it induces a magnetic field in the copper, which resists the movement of the magnet, slowing its descent. This same principle happens inside the induction motor. 
where the rotating magnetic field in the stator induces a magnetic field in the bars of the squirrel cage rotor. The interaction between the magnetic fields causes the rotor to rotate in the direction of the stator's magnetic field. The speed at which the rotor spins depends on the speed at which the stator's magnetic field rotates. However, the rotor must rotate at a slower pace than the stator's magnetic field because of the nature of relative motion. If both the stator and rotor were to spin at the same speed, the rotor would lose its magnetism and the motor would stop working. Since this induction motor was first patented by Nikola Tesla in 1888, AC motors have been a fundamental part of industrial society. They power everything from elevators and streetcars to ceiling fans and washing machines. Anything that plugs into the electrical grid and spins is likely powered by an AC induction motor. So, when it came time for Elon Musk and his team at Tesla Motors to select a power source for their first electric roadster, the choice was clear, the AC induction motor. In an electric vehicle, this design offers a distinct advantage. We know that when the magnetic field in the stator rotates faster than the rotor, the rotor becomes magnetized. But when the rotor spins faster than the stator, using an external force like a wheel, it can induce electricity back into the stator, effectively transferring energy back into the battery pack. This process is what we call regenerative braking, which helps extend the driving range of an electric vehicle. Tesla retained the AC induction motor for its Model S and X vehicles, enabling these relatively heavy cars to achieve incredible acceleration from a standstill. However, there were still some challenges to overcome. The beauty of the AC induction motor lies in its simplicity, copper wire coils, some steel and iron, and an aluminium squirrel cage rotor. That simplicity is precisely why motors and appliances like air conditioners and washing machines can last for decades without failure. But when it comes to extracting maximum power and efficiency, especially in performance vehicles, the limitations of the original induction motor begin to show. Tesla's new motor design for the Model 3 retains many of the principles of the original AC induction motor but with one important upgrade, the addition of permanent magnets. Instead of the traditional aluminium squirrel cage rotor, the new motor features a dense iron core filled with neodymium, a rare earth metal, creating a much more efficient and powerful design. This new motor is known as an internal permanent magnet synchronous reluctance motor, IPS SRM. A mouthful but an incredibly efficient innovation. In a basic permanent magnet motor, permanent magnets are attached to a rotor, and as the rotating magnetic field in the stator turns, the rotor follows along. With the new motor design, Tesla has been able to spin the rotor at the exact same speed as the rotating magnetic field in the stator, eliminating the need for relative motion to induce magnetism. This results in higher efficiency and greater power, especially when accelerating from a standstill. However, there are challenges. Permanent magnets attached to the rotor are vulnerable to centrifugal forces that could cause them to come loose at high speeds. Additionally, the rotation of the magnets could induce a back electromotive force, back EMF, in the stator coils, which would oppose the movement and reduce efficiency. To address these issues, Tesla incorporated a reluctance motor design into the system. Iron, unlike aluminium or copper, is naturally magnetic, so it's a better choice for the rotor material. The rotor is designed with specific channels that align with the stator's magnetic field, which helps synchronize the motion of the rotor with the rotating magnetic field of the stator. By adding permanent magnets into the rotor, Tesla has created an optimal blend of reluctance and magnetism, achieving both high efficiency and greater power. Tesla's new motor design for the Model 3 is a remarkable combination of cutting-edge technology and innovative thinking. However, with the increased use of rare earth materials like neodymium, the cost of production has risen. In response, Tesla is working on a new generation of motors that eliminate the need for rare earth elements altogether. Instead, they plan to use ceramic ferrite magnets, which are made from iron oxide and other metals. While ferrite magnets are cheaper and more abundant, they don't offer the same magnetic strength as neodymium. Tesla will need to compensate for this by increasing the efficiency of their motors even further. The trade-off between cost and performance will likely result in slightly slower acceleration in future Tesla vehicles, but the increased affordability and improved efficiency could make these cars more accessible to a broader market. Tesla's engineers are continuously working on ways to extract more power and efficiency from their designs, all while lowering costs. By drawing on principles of innovation established by Tesla himself, Tesla Motors continues to evolve and redefine the future of electric vehicles, 
demonstrating that great inventors are always striving to achieve more with less energy. Stay in touch with New Wheels for more updates from New